there YouTube, France Hopper here. It's Friday, September 23rd. Before we get into this month's Mito in a Box, I do want to take a brief moment to acknowledge that this week is National Rail Safety Week here in the U.S. Please, look, listen, be safe around trains. I have seen too many people get hit by one, and every single time that has been avoidable. So please, look up from your phone, unplug those earbuds, listen, and look. Don't become a statistic. With that out of the way, this month we are having a throwback to September of 2020, and in fact the third Mito in a Box, because for this month we have another calligraphy box. Let's open it up. All right, so let's open up box number 27. As I mentioned, this is actually the second calligraphy box that Mido has done. And uh, it's interesting, the timing of this one, because the third box was a calligraphy box, and it also came out in September. And I totally didn't look at the playlist to keep myself honest and fact check that. But anyway, let's see what we have. I do believe it, this box is called Fall Into Calligraphy. Uh, today is actually the first full day of fall. So happy fall, everyone. Here's what we have in the standard kit. Of course, link to these down in the uh, description where you can scan the QR code on screen. Incidentally, if you want to see what was in the uh, first calligraphy box all the way back in 2020, I'll also put a link to that in the description, and there will be a card to watch it at uh, the end of this video. So, let's see what we have. So, this is the uh, deluxe bit. We do have a actual feather quill there, which is uh, cool. I've never actually had one of these, um, I tried making one uh, on my own many, many, many years ago as a kid because I had a kit to do it and it never really worked particularly great, but cool to finally have one of those. Here are the goodies for this month. Looks like we got a lot of stuff in there. So I'm curious to see what we're going to have. And here is the standard kit. So definitely some neat stuff to take a look at uh, this month. Let me uh, move things around here and uh, we'll open it up. So starting off as always, let's take a look at our extras for the month. We have two stickers. I especially like this one, Tools of Mass Creation. That is uh, rather clever. Then we have a uh, Mito in a Box uh, sticker here with a crab holding some uh, pens and a, a fox eating some watermelon. Not sure who the uh, artist is for either one of those because I don't think it's on the uh, info card, unfortunately. Uh, here we have a set of five ink swatching cards. Mido says go ahead and make your own ink swatch card, so I don't know, maybe I'll do that with some of the uh, ink samples that we have. And then we have some uh, Wet wipes. Mito branded wet wipes. This does say for uh, hands, not pens. So I guess, you know, if you get your ink, your fingers uh, dirty with ink from uh, calligraphy, you know, these might work. Um, I usually find a lot of soap and water will uh, somewhat help, but I uh, usually can't get ink off my fingers. And then uh, our ink of the month, Sailor, Manyo, and it is uh, Fuji, probably like uh, Fuji-san or Mount Fuji. It's like a bluish gray color, I'd say, we got going on there. So let me slide this all off to the side, and uh, we'll see what's in the standard kit here in just a sec. All right, and here's what we have in the standard kit. It does look like most of the items this month come from Germany. Uh, I do not know German, so I am probably going to butcher all of these very badly. But first up from... Uh, Kus, I think is how you say that. Probably not. We have a universal calligraphy uh, practice pad, and it's very cool to see a, a full pad this time around, because if I remember correctly from 
the first calligraphy box that Mito had, which again was box number three, uh, three years ago now, uh, it was just kind of loose leaf paper. So to see a, a proper pad here, which is, you know, a nice thick pad with instructions and everything on, on how to get started, this is really cool to see. We then have a uh, full-on practice notebook here from uh, Browse. But um, I was flipping through this earlier, and this is uh, pretty cool because it, it's like actually, you know, kind of a textbook here, and it's in both uh, English and German. So if, like me, you don't speak a lick of German, uh, don't worry, there's English. Um, so you got, you know, all the letters in here in different sizes and such. You have like some stickers there, some uh, words and things that you can practice with, and then, you know, tips and tricks and all that good stuff. So definitely a, a good starter book there. Very, very thorough. Um, and then from Browse as well, we have a dip pen, or a pen, yeah, can't talk today. Uh, this is a nib holder that apparently is actual natural wood, so that's very cool, but uh, at the same time it's probably going to make it difficult to clean. Wood generally doesn't like getting wet, uh, but the nib that is on here, I love this nib. This is really quite cool. If the camera will focus, come on, Sony, there you go. Uh, that is like an actual finger sort of uh, nib. I've never seen a nib like that, and it's called the Index Finger 29, which is really, really cool. I've never seen a nib like that. I actually love that uh, quite a bit. And then switching back to uh, Kus, we have a walnut ink. Uh, which it says is allegedly Da Vinci's favorite. But this is a cool, brown, very shimmery sort of ink, which, uh, yeah, is probably good for calligraphy as far as if this is the kind of ink that you can use in a fountain pen or not. I do not know because it doesn't say if it's uh, pigment or what kind of ink it is. So probably do your research on that before uh, you use it for a fountain pen. But uh, for calligraphy, yeah. I think uh, you'll be good there. So let's slide these off to the side and take a look at what's in the deluxe kit. All right, and for the deluxe kit this month, we have three simple but very cool items. They're all from um, Kuss. Again, I don't speak a lick of German. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, so my apologies to both uh, Mido and the manufacturer behind this because this is some neat stuff here. First up, we have a hand-painted quill. This is a goose feather quill that is painted entirely by hand. This is really, really cool. I love the color on here and the little bit of kind of like splatter that you have at the end there. Um, and it does have a nib already attached down there. And I do like these stickers. I love letters too. Analog is pretty cool. Um, we also have a alternative kind of secondary nib that you can use. This is the Nico G cage nib. And uh, I thought this was kind of like a spring or something at first uh, here. Let's see if we can get you a look at that. Not really, but apparently that um, will actually make it hold up to four times as much ink. So that's very interesting and uh, cool. And then lastly, I had a little chuckle at this uh, coming out. This apparently is a handmade ink. This is a rose gold color. And um, I can get it here. Oh, this really doesn't want to focus today, but uh, that little circle there is supposed to be the uh, ink color. And uh, you can tell this is done by hand because someone forgot to color that in with the actual ink color. But this is uh, very cool. Uh, these inks, both of them, the rose gold and the walnut, are some beautiful inks. Um, and again, I don't know if you can use them 
with the fountain pen or not because of the the type of ink that they are there's there are types of inks that you're not supposed to use for fountain pens versus calligraphy pens which is what we have in here but beautiful beautiful inks and this set all together is uh definitely a very cool i'd say step up from the original calligraphy kit which I'll be honest, I didn't use too much of the stuff out of it. I did play around with it a, a little bit. But uh, yeah, if you want to get started with calligraphy or you got the first kit and now you're looking to, you know, maybe do a bit more advanced stuff, I think you could go either way with uh, this month's box. There's definitely some really, really nice stuff in this box. I'm, I'm very uh, happy with this box for sure. And, um, yeah, that feather is probably very delicate, so uh, I almost don't want to use it because of uh, how delicate it is and the fact that it's done by hand. But there you have it. That is everything that is in Volume 27, Fall in Love with uh, Calligraphy. And, yeah, uh, with what we have in this month's box, I think you definitely could fall in love with calligraphy. There's some really, really nice products in this box. So that is it for this month. Happy full first day of autumn, and I will see you next month. Thanks as always for watching. <laughs>